Midjourney V6 just dropped and people are already creating these amazing images with it. Here's everything you need to know about the new update and how to get started using it. Let's jump right in. We'll start with the announcement. David on the Midjourney Discord says, we're gonna let the community test an alpha version of our V6 model over winter break starting now. To turn it on, select V6 from the drop-down menu under settings, or you can just add the dash dash V version six, essentially after your prompt. What's new with the V6 base model? Well, much more accurate prompt following as well as larger prompts. This is interesting because I think this is actually gonna stack up favorably to Dolly. One of the things I really love about Dolly is the fact that you can give it sort of a paragraph of text. You can even give it a script to a YouTube video and it's gonna coherently create an image based on all of that data. So let's see how much better V6 is at that. Improved coherence and model knowledge, improved image prompting and remix, and minor text drawing ability. That's cool because one of the big things from SDXL and from Dolly 3 is that it's getting better and better at creating coherent text on images. So we'll test that out as well. There are a whole bunch of new arguments you can pass. Here are some of the bigger changes though that I wanna talk about. Style and prompting for V6. Prompting with V6 is significantly bolded different than V5. You'll need to relearn how to prompt. That's kind of a key thing. So I don't wanna just drop in some version five mid journey prompts into this and expect some new miraculous things to happen. I think we're gonna have to try a different prompting method. And I have an idea for that. V6 is much more sensitive to your prompt. Avoid junk in quotes like award-winning photorealistic 4K 8K. This was widely used in prompting up until this point. So I'm kind of glad to see that stuff going away. Be explicit about what you want. It may be less vibey, but if you're explicit, it's now much better at understanding you. And if you want something more photographic, less opinionated, more literal, you should probably default to using style raw. Lower values of stylized may have better prompt understanding, while higher values may have better aesthetics. That's interesting to know. All right, so what better way to test this out than to go to my bestie, ChatGPT, and ask it for some prompt ideas. Give me 10 different prompts to use for Midjourney to test its new image generation abilities and adherence to natural language. I think that last piece is the key. I wanna be able to test this in a way that uses more natural language prompts because V6 has changed drastically over previous versions of Midjourney. So we've got 10 different options here. We're gonna drop these into Dolly 3 and we're gonna drop these into Midjourney V6 and compare them side by side. And the reason I'm testing it with Dolly 3 and specifically the Bing version of Dolly 3, Bing Image Creator, is that Bing Image Creator is arguably one of the best free image generation tools out there. So I think just comparing these side by side is gonna be nice. It's also really good at understanding long paragraphs of text. The first thing we'll do in Midjourney, of course, is enable V6. So we did slash settings. We're gonna drop this down and you can see Midjourney model V6 alpha, just select that from the box. Now that's gonna be the default going forward. Our first test prompt from ChatGPT is a bustling futuristic cityscape at dusk with neon lights and self-driving cars zooming down multi-level highways. The skyline is dotted with sleek high-rise buildings and drones are flying in the sky. Let's kick this off in both systems. All right, and here are the results from the first prompt. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that both of these have drones flying through the sky. They have a very similar vibe to them, both very dark. The interesting thing is there's a lot of neon going on in the Bing Image Creator version, and it looks a little bit more cartoony, like an illustration, which is pretty standard for Bing and Dolly 3. The one on the left from Midjourney is quite a bit more detailed. It's still not as high quality as I would have expected. It's not really a photograph. You can still see there's a lot of abnormalities around the cars, things like that, but interesting nonetheless. And you can see that both of them had a similar adherence to the actual prompt that we gave them, even though it was a sort of complex sentence and not something as descriptive as you'd normally provide to one of these systems. Let's try another one. Our second prompt is an advanced 3D printing workshop filled with state-of-the-art 3D printers of various sizes. The room is busy with engineers and designers working on intricate projects from small gadgets to large mechanical parts. GPT knows me really well. It knows that I love 3D printers. This could be pretty cool. And here are the results. Both systems produced very similar sort of print farms. It looks like a whole bunch of 3D printers in various warehouses. I will say the creativity looks to be a little bit higher on Bing, but 
you've got to give the aesthetic and the overall photo realism to version six of mid journey for sure. This looks obviously more cartoony on the Bing image side, which again is sort of the aesthetic that Bing always has with all of its images. Very cool. Let's check out another one. For our third image, we've got a modern living room showcasing an AI powered home automation system. The room includes voice controlled lighting, automated window blinds, a robot vacuum, and a central hub with a holographic display. That's very specific. And here are the results back from both. Now, obviously I can't tell if these are automated blinds or not, but you can see on the wall, there's some sort of holographic design diagram, some sort of interface from the Bing image creator side. These also all seem to have, at least from Bing image creator, a robot vacuum. So it followed the prompt very well there. Now on the version six mid journey side, we've also got what appears to be robot vacuums in at least three of the images. I don't see one in this upper left. These are again, very photorealistic. What I don't see in the mid journey images is any sort of indication of a holographic display that was mentioned in the prompt. Number four, a conceptual design of a futuristic self-driving car. The car should have a sleek aerodynamic shape with transparent glass panels, advanced sensors and wheels, that suggest high speed capabilities. I gotta say these are pretty cool. You can see the mid journey versions on the left. It's got a lot of glass, a lot of transparent materials. It really followed the prompt well. And I would say these definitely look like a sleek sort of high speed vehicle. On the right hand side with Bing Image Creator, we've also got some really slick looking vehicles. It looks like they stole the grill straight from a Mercedes, but apart from that, these all also look like very advanced self-driving vehicles sleek, full of glass. One of the things that you'll notice with this is it seems like both systems are pretty good at understanding these prompts and creating an image. It's I'm almost shocked at how similar the images are that are created with both Dolly and Mid Journey, not from an aesthetic point of view, but just from an overall following the prompt perspective. Now, if you look solely at the quality of the images, obviously Mid Journey V6 is far superior. You see the lighting, the reflection, it looks like a photo versus more of, again, that illustration style. So depends on what you're trying to get out of these systems, but both of them seem to follow the prompts really well. And this is something cool to see out of mid journey. Let's jump on and check the next one. So for image number five, we have a depiction of everyday life enhanced by artificial intelligence, show various AI applications like a smart fridge suggesting recipes, a virtual assistant planning a day, and an intelligent security system monitoring a house. That's a lot going on in that image. Again, we have kind of shockingly similar results from both systems. It sort of picked up that you have multiple things going on. I think Dolly really did a good job here illustrating that there are three or four different asks in the prompt and sort of highlighting those in separate scenes, if you will, within a single image. It did this in, it looks like all four of the images. Now, a little bit different from Mid Journey, but it looks like it sort of did the same thing in the first image. And then the second, third, and fourth are just sort of depicting this sort of futuristic home, it looks like. Still very cool images, and I would say both have a very similar coherence and adherence to the prompt. Number six, 3D printing and space exploration. A scene depicting the use of 3D printing and space exploration. Astronauts are using a 3D printer to create tools, and parts on a space station with a view of Earth in the background. These are really cool prompts. And I know it took, it, you can even see down here below, it says these prompts are designed to explore the various aspects of technology and innovation, reflecting your interests in 3D printing, home automation, self-driving cars, and artificial intelligence. Chat GPT, you know me too well. Again, very similar results, photorealistic on the left with mid journey, but the overall view and look and feel of these is pretty similar. I will say that it looks a lot more like a 3D printer in all the images that Bing created. And I don't really get a sense of a 3D printer in any of the images that were created with Mid Journey. They're all based in space. They're all seemingly exploring something. Although with that hatch open in the back there, I think these guys would all be dead. But beyond that point, I think Bing wins out here for following the prompt a little bit better, even if the image quality isn't as good. Number seven, smart city powered by an AI automation. Panoramic view of a smart city powered by AI and automation. Include features like automated public transport, energy efficient buildings, and interactive digital billboards. Again, a lot going on here. On the mid journey side, we've got some beautiful futuristic looking cities that came back. I love this one with all the trees running through the roadway. 
I hope the future cities actually look like that. On the Bing side, it looks like what they did is sort of, again, highlighting different elements within the picture, showing these circles, these arrows that sort of indicate, here's the automation features, here are energy efficient buildings, here are digital billboards. It's more of something you'd have in almost a brochure, for example. Number eight, next generation home office setup. A next generation home office setup with advanced technology include a multi-screen computer setup, a 3D printer creating office supplies, and a virtual reality meeting space. I don't know about you, but I'm interested in any of these home office setups. I would take these in a second. Again, I think Bing Image Creator does a better job at depicting 3D printers. You can see there's a couple of what look to be 3D printers in every single one of these scenes. But man, the images from Midjourney are just stunning. You can see the multi-monitor setup. It looks like a futuristic office. It doesn't appear to have a 3D printer in any of these images, but still really, really beautiful. Number nine, AI-driven YouTube content creation studio. It's like they know my future here. An AI-driven YouTube content creation studio showing a content creator working with AI tools to edit videos, manage social media, and analyze viewer data. Is that R2-D2 in this image? I think it is. That's really interesting. I think you might have some copyright issues there, Bing. Looking at these other images, pretty cool. They do a lot more to kind of depict the fact that this is an artificial intelligence YouTube studio. I think it does a better job at getting that across. Now on the left-hand side with Midjourney, man, these are stunning. But I don't really get the sense that this is anything other than a YouTube studio that you'd have today. Someone editing video. It doesn't look like it's generative AI powered or really futuristic in any way, but man, it looks good. And for our 10th prompt, personal transport drone. A futuristic personal transport drone large enough to carry a person. The design should be sleek and modern with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities and a comfortable interior. Who doesn't want a comfortable interior? And here's what we got back from both systems. Man, again, those mid-journey V6 images, just the lighting and the reflections, the overall look and feel of these is just amazing. No one else can touch mid-journey right now as far as realism goes, that's for sure. And the level of realism and detail coming back from these mid-journey V6 images is second to none. I think mid-journey is still leading the charge there. I will say that Dolly seems to follow prompts a little bit better. It has all of the details that you ask for and specify in the prompt. But given that Midjourney V6 is still just an alpha product, we're gonna see a lot of iterative changes over the coming days and weeks. It's still missing some key features that other Midjourney models have like pan and zoom. They're also building an entirely new describe model. Describe as the name suggests, and if you haven't used it in the past, it's able to take an image as input and then give you back a prompt. Now, the reason I think they need to build an entirely new model for V6 is because it has a new prompting style and technique. And so being able to describe older mid-journey images in the V6 prompting style could be really interesting. Something to check out for sure as they release these new features. If you wanna see it here first, hit that like and subscribe button. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. Thank you so much. We'll check you next time.